So again, mm -hmm. there's a reason people want to interpret the Bible differently sometimes, right? Now, whatever that reason is, man may have a problem with a statement made by someone who was actually around Jesus, right? Where they want it to mean something else. So, mm hmm. Now, now in King James, Colossians chapter one, we read verse fifteen, who is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. So those atoms and the gases floating around in the air mm -hmm. that help you breathe, whether you see it or not, is like your God. <laughs> Though you deny it, it does not deny itself. <laughs> whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him right. so let's see why some people may have a problem with that mm -hmm. first first now that's the King James Version though. It's not a newer version, right? <laughs> it's an older version, right? But the question is, whom do you trust, right? Whom are you listening to? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the interlinear version, I know, edited by Mr. Green, or Dr. Green, I don't know his actual title, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm.
<laughs> so this is how it reads here. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, right? Now, some act like they can't understand that because it's through the second born of every creature after Jesus, right, that we're having the problem with. Right? See, he's so close to God, right? The one rebelling from God, right? Ecod as well. <laughs> Yahuwah, who he akad, means something. Now, mm -hmm. Moshe had Malachi leave you two names, right? Moshe's own name and Eliyahu's name. Now, Eliyah mm -hmm, and Eliyahu are two ways to say the names. I know. Yeah, no. For Elijah or Elijah who <laughs> Jahua is also a way you can pronounce it in the English for from Jah mm -hmm, which is used in Psalms sixty eight. Now if you're gonna use a name for Jah mm -hmm, Cause it's a double H at the end of that name, right? As with L A A mm -hmm, or L U A, mm -hmm, unless you want to go O A, right? Though, mm -hmm, usually what's after the L mm -hmm, is which vowel point you don't know, <laughs> you're guessing too, right? And what, you think because you're a Jew and I'm raised a Gentile mm -hmm, that I can't study into a language and learn how name usage is <laughs> for that language, right? Even Nathan Yahoo <laughs> has Yahoo as part of his name, right? <laughs> Your old prime minister, <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. if the divine name is so secret, or you can only say it once a year and you're using Yahweh, how would you like it if people called you Bill and your name was, say, Jill? <laughs> or vice versa, right? Your name is Bill, but they call you Jill. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you wouldn't like that, would you? Right. So why would Moses oh no, and the prophets know the name, right? And say it to Israel, mm -hmm. especially in the writings of Israel, mm -hmm. and then act like they don't want you to say it no more. <laughs> Or is that bad rabbi, mm -hmm, teachers, right, coming in with their own deception, right, of the divine name, right, Hashim, or Hashim, however you want to say it, <laughs> and trying to mislead their own people away from the name of salvation, right. Mm. Yahuwah who he mm -hmm. read forwards to backwards right mm -hmm. Y H W H H W H Y <laughs> you can't get that huh Jew <laughs> or Christian Yet you pretend to know the God of the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find it funny. Right. And 
I think you should know better <laughs> that Moses warned you mm -hmm. of both blessing and cursings if you do the law mm -hmm. or try to change the law mm -hmm. <laughs> himself, right? You're not to change what he wrote, right? Right. <laughs> That's because it's called a foundation from which all the other prophets wrote what they wrote mm -hmm. from, from. Now, they didn't write it exactly as Moses did the Torah, mm -hmm. but they did write in addition to how they were living in the land and you know, under the divine name <laughs> until... Again, the Greeks tried to conquer the world through Alexander. <laughs> Not Alexandria. No. <laughs> and again, <laughs> then everything went to Hellenistic. <laughs> and Halel is his name. <laughs> and, uh, hell, hell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hellenistic way of languages, right? So much so they tried to do a Septuagint version of the Torah, but Hashim is not translated because of the H. <laughs> so funny, I don't know. The Greek language is called Hellenistic. <laughs> Language, right? And even if you pretend not to understand it, right? I know. Now, like I said, I think when Shadiak means your breast, probably, right? If I'm reading it right. Mm -hmm. Or breast, yours or something, right? Shadim is both breasts, and Shad is when a child suckles from one breast. As used by Isaiah in sixty sixteen, but this time for a king with breasts, right? To suckle a child, which means this king has to be hermaphroditic, right? Now the hermaphroditic like people were known by the Hellenistic people as well. Mm -hmm. One of their gods was called Hermaphroditus, right? Except his image was more of a he-she. Because <laughs> he still had, you know, the male reproductive organ. <laughs> with its two grapes underneath, right? With breasts, right? That's still half wrong, right? For a true hermaphrodite, right? The testicles are in the womb, or the stomach, right? And the womb is behind the testicles, right? With the fallopian tubes, right, mm -hmm. and vaginal canal, also behind the male, underneath the male. Mm -hmm. Now Moses said mm -hmm, that when God took Eve or the female out of the male, <laughs> or away from, <laughs> or from out inside of him to outside of him, okay. When he saw her himself, he said something you don't seem to understand, right? This is now bone of or from my bone, right? This is now flesh of or from my flesh, right? Meaning, when she was in him, he saw her, As part of him, fully, or partially, right? But fully, in a way, too, right? So when you're alone, and you're made as an adult, mm -hmm, they ask a question, which came first, the chicken or the egg, right? right. Well, what about a hen rooster? That's both, right? And then you take the hen from the rooster, mm -hmm. The hen can make then lay eggs, and the rooster mm -hmm, can either fertilize those eggs, right, or not, right. 
So you make it kind of both and then make it two, right? Now, obviously, by the time Adam is in the garden, right, on day six, God done made everything, right, or replenished it, <laughs> uh, which had to do with the flood as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you completely destroy mm -hmm, the planet, right, Jesus said, though heaven and earth pass away, my word <laughs> shall not pass away. <laughs> nor my power to replenish the earth again, right? Now, Isaiah says something interesting, I think in chapter 45 or somewhere around there. <laughs> World without end, right? So, everything has the beginning and an end. I am the first and the last, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, right? We are all from Christ, right? Even Satan himself. <laughs> How would you like it if your spoiled brat son started acting so kind of crazy, some kind of crazy, <laughs> and you don't know how to deal with him, right? Either, either. <laughs> it's like Zeus and Ares, the god of war. Mm -hmm. Zeus is usually pictured as the benevolent, you know, first god of the Olympians, right, for example, right, in his mythology about him, right, but at the same time, he has a wife, <laughs> Hera, mm-hmm, too, too. <laughs> but Zeus also plays the field a little bit on Hera, mm -hmm. but why is this, why is this, <laughs> Well, some say soldiers who go into battle mm -hmm. without having sex with their wives often see a doppelganger <laughs> who has sex with their wife while they're in battle. Right. Ain't that weird, right? Though Moses says the opposite. Hey, mm -hmm. before you go to battle, <laughs> Have sex with your wife if you just got married, right? That's why there's a little controversy of what happened with Uriah, Bathsheba, and David, right? And whose son it might even have been, right? I know. If you think about it, right? <laughs> you know, Uriah, too, had just possibly married Bathsheba, right? We don't know that detail in the story, right? When did Uriah and Bathsheba marry? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> did Uriah just go into battle without having sex with his wife as the men of Greece would sometimes do? <laughs> and David played Zeus <laughs> and took her for himself? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> That's how some stories can kind of fit together, even whether mythology or real or whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> but from one story, you can learn David's mindset, perhaps. It's good to be the king. <laughs> like in History of the World, <laughs> part one, with Mel Brooks, right? Uh, where he's playing Louis the Sixteenth, I think, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. The last monarch, right? And uh, he's having a ball. <laughs> and I don't just mean a dance where people are invited to it. <laughs> I mean a ball <laughs> of a good time. Of a good time. In the movie, anyway. In the movie, anyway. <laughs> but the thing is, though, <laughs> some people laugh at history because sometimes it's incomplete, right? Mm -hmm. You don't get the whole story, right? Well, then you got to fill in the gaps, right? right. See, the one thing you don't know is did Uriah mm -hmm. have sex with Bathsheba? When were they married, actually? Was it before the war? How long before the war? How long have they been married, right? The writer doesn't think that matters, I guess. <laughs> don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> But when he wrote it, right. these details are left unmentioned. All we know is she's the wife of Uriah the Hittite, 
as even pointed out by the gospel writer, perhaps attributed to Matthew or Levi. Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> who was identified and, uh, as the possible author of one of the first books in the New Testament, right? We don't know, per se, right? <laughs> who wrote it, right? Because it's not written mm -hmm, about the author, right? But it's written about someone who witnessed Jesus' life, right? And Levi came in around the, the first year of Jesus' ministry, right? Now, Peter and Andrew, you know, <laughs> were among the first disciples, right? With John and James, right? Now, John and James were brothers, and so were Peter and Andrew, but not hmm, Nathan, right? Or Nathaniel, whatever his name is. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I know. <laughs> Though one of David's sons was named Nathan, after the prophet, I guess. <laughs> the first one was Solomon. Mm -hmm. But his line, because of Coniah, was cursed that no male would sit upon the throne. <laughs> no. Because his sin was grievous to the Lord. Right. Now here's the problem, Hebrew. Mm -hmm. If no male from the line of David can sit on the throne because of Coniah's sin, right. how can your Messiah be male or female? Mm -hmm. But if he's both, that's also called a loophole. Mm -hmm. A loophole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Changes something, right? Because God also says a no key el lo ish, right? Through the prophets, all the way back to even Moses recording the Balaam incident in Numbers, right? Starting with chapter 22 on, right? Now, all I can do is read for myself, right? Right? If Christians aren't telling me the truth and Jewish people aren't telling me the truth, and I have to read something on my own, right? And there's seven topics you don't want to talk about, right? One's the divine name. Two's the timeline, because, you know, with science, they think the earth is older, right? But the thing about a replenishing is it could be more than once. <laughs> and also involve the same people. Mm -hmm. Every time... If it's in a loophole. Mm -hmm. You know what a loophole is, don't you, scientists? Right. It's when the same behavior is done over and over again by the same people because they never learn to do it better. <laughs> Every time they go through it, they think it's a new experience. Right. And really, they forget if they've even been through it before. <laughs> Reincarnation is a little like that. Mm -hmm. Even an incarnation, right, if done multiple times, is still a reincarnation of the same people. <laughs> so that's why some people believe in it and some people don't quite understand it, right? And like I told you, um, if you understand how the Dalai Lama becomes the Dalai Lama, right, he picks um, something having to do with the old Dalai Lama and, uh, and knows and, uh, that the teeth, for example, <laughs> with the current Dalai Lama, of the old Dalai Lama, <laughs> whatever this means, right, are in a certain drawer and he gets the right drawer mm -hmm, and the teeth are there. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how many drawers are around the teeth, right? If it's one or two, it's a 50-50 chance. If it's one and two or four or six or eight or more, then again, right, it's something a little different, ain't it, right? Now, mm -hmm. but the thing about a reincarnation in an incarnation, though, mm -hmm. 
is if it takes, say, 16,000 years, right, mm -hmm. for you to replenish the earth, right, mm -hmm. we descend again, right, <laughs> fall again, right, and 10 days is as 10,000 years, possibly, right, then 16,000 years sounds like, mm -hmm, how many days, which is less than two weeks to the Lord, right, and the eternal spirit in heaven, right, and might even explain why there are dinosaur bones and all kind of stuff, right? If you keep having to replenish the earth every 16,000 years, right? It's a suggestion. I'm not sure. I'm a human being like you, right? <laughs> I'm just here too. And really, when you try to help everybody out, aren't you more in the spirit of Christ? Than when you only can help out a select few, right? So again, right, everyone coming to Jesus, though, even a Grecian woman, <laughs> got a miracle from Jesus. <laughs> though he said to her mm -hmm, that <laughs> the dogs, oh no, <laughs> are not even worthy, right, to eat of the Lord's table. Or at the children's table. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm, and, uh, she pressed him uh, and said, Yea, Lord. Mm -hmm. But even the dogs eat of the crumbs oh, no, that fall from their master's table. Mm -hmm. And he rewarded her faith. Right. For again, right, even the Lord can say, Why should I help you? Right. <laughs> What do you want, right? What do you need, right? And then she pressed him, right? And said, yes, I'm a Greek. Yes, I'm a dog, right? Yes, I'm a bitch, as modern day people would put it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that means female dog, right? <laughs> and that's just to educate you on that. If you don't know what the word means, perhaps, <laughs> But also, a dog could be loyal mm -hmm. or a bad dog, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on its owner, right? Two, two. <laughs> and Jesus is Lord of all. <laughs> Even the dog, right, was made by Jesus in his image as a dog, right? And made from one into two, the first dog, <laughs> Now again, I know. Yeah, how are there a different breed of dogs? <laughs> Did God make more than one type of dog? <laughs> uh, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Will make sense. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> if you're a dog, you only have the gene of the mother and father like any other being that reproduces, right? Right. <laughs> That's why we have brown or blue or green eyes, right? <laughs> or black, right? <laughs> but that could also have to do with adaptation. That could also have to do with, uh, you know, being in a cold or a hot environment, right? Take the Australians and the Aborigines and the African, right? They both are very dark-skinned people because they come from a dark continent or one that's hot <laughs> and dry, <laughs> Similarly, huh? <laughs> but you can't see that, can you, scientists or Christians or Jews, right? <laughs> Who come from Europe, <laughs> take over a country, <laughs> damn, and leave very little to the original inhabitants. Or you take one people from their country and bring them over here to help you till the land, <laughs> grow cotton in the field, right? With no regard, right? To their well care, I know, right? Welfare, right? You know what I mean, right? Let's just bring these people over, make them work the land from dusk to dawn, right? And not give a damn, right? Beat them with chains for what? Beat them with, you know, Indiana Jones whips. <laughs> and this is a sad thing, right? That, again, right? Is true. Mm -hmm. But men hate the truth, right? 
That's why some of them don't want you teaching race theory, right? And why some people mm -hmm, want to dominate other people mm -hmm, because of differences in skin color, mm -hmm, which could only have to do or possibly have to do with adaptation, right? Not just evolution, right? And, you know, there are only really four main eye types, right? <laughs> Black, brown, green, or blue. The rest are a combination of that. Now, I've seen children with lighter blue eyes or weird kind of blue eyes, right? But nobody knows what it's like to be the bad man. That's what they say. To be the sad man behind blue eyes. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's what the Who said anyway, are saying. Right? And I kind of get the point, right? Most of my adversaries were kind of blonde, blue-eyed guys, right? <laughs> Trying to ask me if I was gay and I had to say no because I'm not, right? Not simply because I don't know what he's talking about either, right? Perhaps he was trying to quid pro quo me and, uh, and say, well, I'm not going to train you unless you are gay with me. <laughs> and I still said, no, I guess I won't be trained. <laughs> I won't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and, uh, on the ship, I'm supposed to be learning my trade by. <laughs> so I can be even electrician when I get out. <laughs> but instead, making me go out on a medical <laughs> Because I kept trying to find girlfriends <laughs> and wives, Sheena Johnson, while on the Saipan. Right. When I met you on the Shenandoah, I don't know what your experience was, but mine wasn't a good one. Right. And I didn't have time to tell you all the details, because within less than a month, you're breaking up with me, and I don't know what I said. <laughs> that, that could bother you, but maybe it was the two witness thing that seemed to bother some people. <laughs> I was around, right? Especially Pastor Thomas, right? But again, but again, <laughs> life's life, right? Now, if Jesus is the firstborn of every creature, that means every other creature was made after him, through him, and by him, and for him, right? Not for Satan. So if you have a prince, right, and you're showing him only good things, right, yet he starts rebelling, right, or going off on his own or something, like the prodigal son, right, <laughs> he's acting like, right, he knows Jesus don't even have a clue, right, as to what he's doing, I know, as far as, you know, Jesus is trying to give him space, right, the male side, right, born as a Son daughter combination, I think, from Mrs. Jesus. There's a Mrs. Jesus, by the way. <laughs> Catholics. And John said, the Baptist, that is, through John, that is the gospel writer, <laughs> he that has the bride in a marriage ceremony. <laughs> is the bridegroom, and the governor went to the bridegroom. Amen. Okay, though John doesn't say it's Jesus. <laughs> the gospel writer. <laughs> but some woman in chapter 8 is brought to Jesus as if mm, he can determine the fate of that woman, right? When only her husband... <laughs> can determine if she's stoned or not, right? Peter also pointed out that the wife of Abraham, Sarah, called Abraham Lord, as did this woman, right? But whatever. <laughs> you know everything, right? You don't make mistakes. You're not human. Follow Emperor Constantine, right? And not Jesus. <laughs> Follow the Orthodox who crept into the church like the rabbis did who changed the teaching right, of the divine name and tried to stop people from even saying it, right? Well, that's the prophet's job, right? The prophet is here to help you say its name. <laughs> 
And its name is Yahuwah who he had got. <laughs> or the male and female are one in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Mashiach. Yahushua. <laughs> Now, Yahuwah, mm -hmm. Yahushua, Shekin Yahu, Mashiach, is the full name, right? Shekin Yahu means what? Dwelling of Yahu, right? We're all that too, right? Yahushua is eternally, he will save, right? <laughs> and Yahuwah, who he akad, is, again, all who I, who he, a God, <laughs> all, <laughs> are one in him. God is above all, through all, and in you all. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And this was a mystery, right? According to chapter 3, how the Gentiles will be fellow heirs of the same body, right? Though uncircumcised. Well, you could even circumcise a female, though that's bad. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> Men who do such a thing to a young virgin, right? A young woman, right? In Africa or any nation. <laughs> You're removing her pleasure. <laughs> And I'm sure, you know, just circumcising the foreskin doesn't remove a male's pleasure. Right. I didn't even know I was circumcised, by the way, <laughs> until I realized what one looked like through porn. Right. By the way, I hate to say that, but uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> only way you can see circumcised or uncircumcised, right, to even compare them is in a porno where they have one circumcised the one not right <laughs> I do <know. laughs> now you think what right. you can't learn anything from porn right depends on if you're looking at it as the God who made us naked and not ashamed or the God who made us naked and ashamed right wonder which one is which <laughs> now he's still a God to you though the fallen God right he made a bunch of uh, what they call demigods for you. <laughs> and you could be their offspring. Right? But does that matter to Jesus, who is the firstborn of all? Right? No. <laughs> he tries to forgive even that and turn you back into who you once were. Mm -hmm. He wants you to come back to the father, mother. Right? You can't have a son without both or a daughter. <laughs> So what you forget, though, mm -hmm, is God is neither a man nor a woman for its Ruach Ha Kadosh or Ha Kadosh Ruach. <laughs> However, the Holy Spirit or Holy Ruach, right? Holy Breath, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, right? That made all mm, through the form of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what? No. <laughs> if it bothers you, right? Who is bothering you about it, right? Who is stopping you from seeing that if you can't make images, as Moses pointed out in Deuteronomy chapter 4, mm -hmm. verses 14 through 16, right? When saying, when God appeared to them, they saw no form in the likeness of male or female. Mm -hmm. And he uses a different word other than ba, which means and, right? Didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like I said, I'm human too, right? Especially if you're trying to beat me over trying to find a wife, right? And I don't know who she is, right? <laughs> And God ain't letting you stop me <laughs> from trying to find a wife, is it? Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, all I can do is try to reason with you, as Isaiah did, right? 
But he also asked Lord, or Yahuwah, who he, who has believed our report? <laughs> so far, nobody fully, <laughs> nobody fully. <laughs> now, Jesus tried to explain it to the disciples fully, mm -hmm. but I guess because they taught it from the Old Testament, as Paul would do, right? They figured the teaching would remain wrote the New Testament to help the Gentiles understand more, right? And even, like I said, Paul said, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Am I a woman to know what it's like to be a woman, even if I have a sex change? No, I'm still born a male, right? Now, I can have a sex change if I so desire, right? That's not really the problem either for some people, I guess, right? If you feel that way and you got the money, honey, <laughs> You can do it. <laughs> That's like Elon Page, who is now Elliot Page, right? Whatever, right? My job is just to say, well, here's why that's a bad idea. Your DNA is still that of a girl. <laughs> and it will not change even if you change your body externally. But I forgive you, right? <laughs> I'm not to judge you, right? I don't know why you're doing it, right? Because God knew you would be born a girl. It also knew you would want a sex change. And it also can't stop you once you do that procedure, right? right. If you did that procedure, oh well, you're <laughs> really a eunuch, by the way. <laughs> All you can really do is flatten your chest to make you look more masculine, right? You still have ovaries, right, by the way. <laughs> Flipping tubes, right? Unless you remove those too, and then you're kind of like a male eunuch, right? From the past, who they used to castrate, so they couldn't have sex with the women in the hair. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> but gotta make a joke about it. <laughs> they would do that. <laughs> but God says to the eunuch, "Say not, you are a dry tree." Another reference to men as trees. Sorry. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> As they say in the Hebrew. <laughs> or it's. <laughs> Depends on how you want to say the E. <laughs> but it's all of T-S, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> if I were king of the forest. Well. Wizard of Oz time. <laughs> But I'm referencing my little doodles, my little history lesson there, and my little movie review, <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. or my little impersonation of the lion from the Wizard of Oz. Right? <laughs> I forgot who he was played by, by the way. Mm -hmm. I haven't been keeping up with that in a while. <laughs> but I used to know at one point, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> But I forgot, right? As you forget, some things, right, are not as important to you as they are to someone else sometimes, right? Now, when you're making something like having a four year old stepdaughter who was sleeping with her mom the whole time I was around there, right? You blaming the mom, <laughs> trying to make it my fault, <laughs> if the child even woke me up or something. <laughs> And I quickly brought her back to her mom and don't remember or something, right? I don't know, right? What you talking about, right? And I fell, you know, from a three-story building, was out for almost two weeks. <laughs> Not sure where the hell I was after that either, right? Or what happened, right? <laughs> Have no real full memory of anything except for well, why I was on the roof trying to get to the window edge, right? I know that part, <laughs> Just like with the rat, right? I know what I was doing, <laughs> why I went where I went. But when I got somewhere, <laughs> I blacked out and the car got wrecked. <laughs> However, that happened, right? For whatever reasons, right? There could be a few. <laughs> you know, my step, my step brother at that time was dating an older woman, and. Uh, she may have had a daughter. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
but they would have had to go into the bedroom to have sex or something <laughs> and leave us alone. <laughs> but I don't know if I would call my mom if it was going to be a while. I don't know, right? But all happened, right? <laughs> it's just kind of like that, right? <laughs> now, every male is looking for a female, though, if you're straight, right? Even if they say you're gay, right? <laughs> Or try to accuse you of being gay. You just say, no. Well, I got a bad right eye, right? <sighs> Have vision problems, kind of, right? But it gets sometimes better to worse, though, if that city constellation, right? It does get kind of mucousy for some reason. Almost like it's being repaired for some reason. I don't know, right? And I may have fell out my hot chair. I'm not sure. Or damn, I know. I'm not trying to accuse anybody of anything intentionally. <laughs> either. Right? But that's a part of life, too, that can happen, right? You don't, you know, think it was done on purpose, anything. Right? Even when I kind of caught the mattress on fire, right? I had no real intellect or memory of that right. as well. Mm -hmm. Now, my first real memory had to do with my teddy bear and Dracula and having a cat named Morris that was a black and white Siamese cat. Right? I think that was our first cat. And I guess they named it after the cat on TV. I don't know. <laughs> but in taking some showers with my mom or something... <laughs> You know, minor things, not a big deal, right? Unless you make it a big deal, right? And you come out of the dark. You come out of the dark. Into the light. Into the light. The light ain't your problem. The darkness is. You don't know where you came from, where you're going, or how to get there sometimes. Right? <laughs> But we all are on the path of discovery, right? The path of salvation or the path of destruction, right? And if God makes vessels according to the fall, after the fall, we're all sinning, right? We don't all know what we're doing. We are all in light and darkness, right? We awake and we asleep every, sleep every night, right? And during that time, we lose time. Right. We don't know what day it is from the next sometimes. I have to check my calendar <laughs> to make sure I ain't slept over eight hours <laughs> or nine hours. <laughs> However long it was I slept. Right? For a time, kind of, whoo, speeds up when you're asleep on it. Right? <laughs> Even if it's a few minutes after you're woke up, you don't know that. Right? Even if it's ours, you don't know that, right? You don't know everything, people. <laughs> Some of you don't even want to know what you're supposed to know, right? But then all God can do is have someone try to help you know, for a time to understand it, and then that person has to go back to God who made him, right? That's all you can do, right? It's a loop, right? We're creating by acting like we're not worthy. And, uh, mm, <laughs> to that, you know. But if you act like you're worthy and I saw God on the throne, right? And that's all I need to think I'm worthy, well, <laughs> I'm doing something you're not wanting to do, right? That's all it means, right? No condemnation from me as Christ did not condemn those around him when he came 2,000 years ago. Nor Moshe, though he was a little mad with you, right? When writing the Torah. <laughs> and then again, you have to deal with the Egyptian in him, right? Because he was raised an Egyptian, right? And some of the things are helpful and some of the things are kind of cruel, cool, right? You know? If someone's picking up sticks on the Sabbath day, and you got to go to God to ask what you are supposed to do with him, right? And you don't know, right? <laughs> and it tells you to stone him, right? Are you listening to the same God who told you thou shalt not kill? Right. What's worse, picking up sticks on the Sabbath day, right? 
or murdering someone on the Sabbath day. One requires you to pick up a stone <laughs> to stone him. <laughs> on the same day, you're not supposed to work. <laughs> that ain't work, too? To stone somebody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what is Moses doing? Contradicting his own law? A little bit, it seems. Sorry. Why? Mm. Ain't that overkill? <laughs> Damn. Are you oh, no. simply murdering someone with stones that you gotta pick up and throw at him right, for picking up a few sticks on the seventh day? Mm -hmm. But you don't get that story. <laughs> so, <laughs> I see. <laughs> right. You want to stone him as the disciples when picking corn were messed with by the scribes, Pharisees, and their men, right? Mm -hmm. Whoever was there. <laughs> For being hungry mm -hmm. and picking corn in the field right. on the Sabbath day. Ain't that the same as picking up a few little sticks, right? If you misinterpret Moses' point about the law, <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you read the whole story, right, right, I don't quite recall <laughs> perfectly where it's at, but it's between the end of Leviticus to Deuteronomy, somewhere in there. <laughs> usually, usually. <laughs> Moses also gave you moral laws that some people follow again and some people don't. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when someone don't do something, right, they're sinning, right? But while they're sinning, you forget Christ died also as a sacrifice to cover all sin. Whether you realize at the time you're supposed to do it or not. Mm -hmm. Now, this applies to abortion. This applies to homosexuality. And say someone comes to Jesus and they felt gay all their life, but what, they're going to instantly be able to be straight? No, no. <laughs> but if they are tempted and they fall, mm -hmm. how many times will Jesus forgive them if they come to him and say, I'm dealing with this, Lord, right? But I feel like I'm more attracted to men still, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't help it right now, right? right? That's honesty, ain't it? Right. As long as you're not bearing false witness, right? right? That's calling someone a pedophile when they're not a pedophile, or gay when they're not gay. That's a false witness, <laughs> Because it's not true. <laughs> for me, for example, right, who's only been attracted to the females, right? <laughs> now, I ain't saying you can't make a male look like a female and I not know the difference if you're a good plastic surgeon, okay, right? right. If you can do all that, whatever, right? <laughs> I will admit I can't tell. <laughs> but, but, if you try to get me to sleep with a transgendered woman and I don't know it, right, that's also bearing thoughts with me. Right. The transgender person knows I want a female, right, born naturally a female, right. So if they try to sleep with me, I don't know. I don't condemn them for the surgery, right. For I'm not their judge or executioner. So Satan mm -hmm. is trying to play all three roles to us. Don't you understand, Christian? Judge not the gay people, for God made all, mm -hmm. even people who feel gay. Mm -hmm. And while they're feeling gay, introduce them to the God of love, <laughs> who would work with them right. while they're still being gay, right. and died for them, right. so that whether they're gay or straight, right, they know he loves them. <laughs> anyway. anyway. But we're not perfect. Even marrying the wrong woman is still an act of adultery. 
And you like the angels want to marry and be given in marriage, but you're probably then still too, right? But if you condemn the act, right, you're condemning your own marriage. But if you forgive the act, you're forgiving yourself, even if you marry the wrong person that no, right? Wow. <laughs> now, are you to continue in the sense of grace they abound, like Paul said? God forbid, yeah. But how do you now suddenly know all the truth? You don't. You don't. We're still struggling. Right. Now, if you're married, I'm not saying divorce your wife. If you're gay, I'm not saying you can suddenly become straight. Right. I don't know if you can or can't. Right. But I understand how you feel. Mm. <laughs> And I'm trying to work with you as Jesus would, not as Satan would, who wants to condemn all sins, Christians. And if you condemn others, I don't know, you're condemning yourself. Right? If you forgive others, you're forgiving yourself. Why did Jesus say that too? Right? Yet you don't get that. <laughs> you're still focusing on your works without true faith in forgiveness and not judging them. <laughs> You're still trying to judge them like Satan wants you to. He wants us judging each other to condemnation so we die even if natural causes. Or don't you